Google dug deeper into New York's office market last week with a $2 billion deal to buy the St. John's Terminal project in Hudson Square. This is a major vote of confidence for the office market from the very industry that's often seen as disrupting it, technology. Let's break down Google's New York office investments to find out why a company with its head in the cloud might want such a big stake in Manhattan's ground. Google first came to NYC in 1999, when it inked an office lease at 1440 Broadway in Times Square. But by 2005, it had outgrown that space and opened a New York HQ with a 300,000 square foot lease at 111 8th Avenue. The building, which had been part of the Port Authority, quickly became known as the Google Building, though it had a number of other high profile tenants. That building has remained Google's New York flagship, but by 2007, they'd had to lease space across the street in Chelsea Market to accommodate their expanding presence. In 2010, Google purchased the unique 8th Avenue property, which has a massive 2.9 million square feet from Taconic for 1.9 billion. But it wasn't enough. In 2014, Google started leasing space from Vornado at 85 10th Avenue, and in 2015, it signed a deal to anchor the redevelopment project at Pier 57, just across the West Side Highway from Chelsea Market. It's since expanded its footprint in both buildings, even though Pier 57 is yet to be completed. In 2018, Google reaffirmed its commitment to Chelsea Meatpacking, picking up the Chelsea Market building in its entirety from developer Jamestown for a cool $2.4 billion. Google's presence in that area was well established, and the neighborhood had changed dramatically, with the opening of the High Line, trendy restaurants rushing in, and luxury developments cropping up everywhere. But by the end of the year, Google had turned its attention about a mile south. It signed lease agreements on three Hudson Square properties, 315 and 345 Hudson Street, and the aforementioned St. John's Terminal at 550 Washington Street, which it said would create a Hudson Square campus that could house its global business organization. Oxford Property Group had recently unveiled plans to develop the two-block 550 Washington site, and it's these plans that are now underway in Hudson Square. As its real estate holdings have expanded, so has Google's New York workforce. There are now 12,000 Google employees in New York City, and even as remote work has become a necessity and is aided by services Google provides, the company keeps showing its confidence in New York's office market. Which brings us back to the question, why does a technology company need to own so much office space? For one, Google's unique offices have become a huge part of their corporate identity, and owning a building allows the company to shape and reshape their offices as much as they'd like, and Google execs have not been shy about how important they think collaboration is. Ultimately though, Alphabet, Google's parent company, owns tens of billions in real estate not because it wants its employees to have fun offices, but because it thinks it's a smart investment. Back in March, CEO Sundar Pichai announced a plan to invest over $7 billion in offices and data centers across the country. And when CFO Ruth Porat announced this most recent investment, she cited their New York expansion goals, which would add another 2,000 employees by 2028. And with office market vacancies hovering at an all-time high, around 17% these days, buying a property it knows it can use may have been a uniquely smart opportunity. Stay tuned on TheRealDeal.com as we keep track of the office market and all of the tech company moves within it.